11 to 2, 9 to 2, now 4 to 1 chance, and pretty fair over around there, only 112%. Magic Dancer out to 9 to 2 with 13 to 2 Eastern Gale and 7 to 1 Lance Armstrong. Galen, who was third in the race last year, beaten 18 lengths, is an 8 to 1 chance to go two better today. Rockcliffe Gossip at 10 is then 12 to 1 Hescondido and also 12 to 1 Lukewarm and 106, 16 to 1. Bar those. It's been for the last couple of weeks, but uh, anyway, they jump away for this two mile and three quarters GG.com handicap chase. Mr. One on the outside in the yellow jacket with the white face, but it was Hess Condido, the grey, who jumped to the front at the first as they now race on towards the second, which is the water jump. Mr. One on the outside, Hess Condido, Sir Bob, and Eastern Gale in between runners as they jump the water. There, followed by Rose Star, Lance Armstrong was the back marker. As they continue along the back straight. So Bob just uh, taking a firm enough tug at the reins and the sheepskin nose band in the centre as they take the next. Magic Dancer was a bit uh, tardy towards the rear of the field over that in the headgear, blue and yellow jacket with a white cap, Lance Armstrong on the inside. And wide of those in striped sleeves, Rockcliffe Gossip, they're all towards the back as they begin to climb now towards a, an open ditch. Well over a circuit to go. That's the one jump there by Hescondido, Hescondido from Mr. One, so Bob between horses, then Eastern Gale from Rose Star and then Galen in the midfield, Galen in a colour change from the morning papers, light blue with the maroon hoops, just going into sixth place on the inside in the hands of Jim Crowley, likes the tractors Galen, and they're followed by, uh, on the inside, Lukewarm in the black and pink jacket, Magic Dancer. And then towards the rear, Manhattan Castle, Lance Armstrong and Rockcliffe Gossip is on the wide outside. Straightening up then towards the next plane fence. There's Condido on the inside, Sir Bob in the centre of the whole fence. Good jump by Sir Bob there. Mr. One is out wide, Eastern Gale in the green with the white sleeves is handy as well. On a roll, Eastern Gale looking for a four-timer today, but much softer ground underfoot and he's been racing on recently as they approach the next that's Tom Dino and Sir Bob, Mr One and Eastern Gale, Rose Star on the wide outside right of your picture just being driven along now, a bit of a call specialist here Rose Star but making quite heavy weather of it at the moment as they pass the judge then with a circuit left to go in this GG.com handicap chase and they approach another plane fence at the highest point of the course and it's Hescon Dida and Sir Bob as they take this one. They're one and two, followed closely by Eastern Gale. It's been quite a sensible pace so far. Lukewarm up the inside, and Lukewarm is uh, just preceded now by Galen, who's improved into third. Then Lukewarm and Eastern Gale and Mr. One and Lance Armstrong, Manhattan Castle, Rockcliffe Gossip, Magic Dancer, one from last, and Rose Star, apparently having an off day at the moment, is beginning to trail as they run down towards another open ditch. Escondido and the Bob with lukewarm on the inside, Eastern Gale on the outside, and Rose Star you see being bumped along by young Jeff Lake in last place. Downhill then towards another plain one. This is number nine of the 16, and it's Escondido, the grey for the Venetia Williams and Norman Williamson combination. Escondido over in front, lukewarm jumped up boldly on the inside, though pecked on landing. And then Sir Bob on the outside of those. And uh, a faller towards the back is Rockcliffe Gossip. Rockcliffe Gossip is down after that uh, previous fence as they begin the right-hand turn into the back straight. And it's Hescon Dido from Sir Bob. Galen and Lukewarm. Then Eastern Gale on the outside. Mr. One and Lance Armstrong is close. Magic Dancer waited with a quiet ride so far on Magic Dancer from Richard Johnson. They jump the next, though Magic Dancer made quite a bad mistake at that, cost him a few lengths. Uh, at the rear of the field, Manhattan Castle, and finally Rose Star. On towards the next plane fence, Heston Dido by a couple of lengths, didn't get very high. So Bob over in second, then Lukewarm third, followed by Galen, who's now woken up. Eastern Gale in fifth place from Lance Armstrong, then Mr. One Magic Dancer being called on for an effort as well as they take the next, the water jump, and Heston Dido still running on strongly in front. Landed about three lengths clear from Sir Bob, now getting a few liveners in second place. Galen, Magic Dancer on the outside, Eastern Gale still right there as well as they take the next, but the leader jumping soundly over that. 
Eston Dido the Grey, who's been up with the pace throughout as they turn right-handed. Chase now in second by Galen. Lukewarm on the inside. Eastern Gale still with every chance as they race towards the third last. This is the final open ditch, and it's Hescon Dido from in second Galen. Eastern Gale and Magic Dancer. Hescon Dido just hasn't hesitated slightly going into the fence. The others landed running. Sir Bob, we lost at that when fading. Sir Bob is unseated as they run, begin the run uphill towards home and it's Hescondido tackled now by Eastern Gale on the outside. Galen is third, Lukewarm is four, Lance Armstrong and Magic Dancer are next. These are the leading half dozen as they approach the final quarter mile and an uphill run over the final two fences. Hescondido, very game in front. Eastern Gale, the challenger in the green and white jacket towards the right, followed by Galen and Lukewarm. Over two out, Hescondido landed with a narrow advantage over Eastern Gale. Gale, then Luke Warm, followed next by Galen, Lance Armstrong, Magic Dancer and Manhattan Castle. They run down towards the final fence. Hescondido is beaten off. All comers so far. One more fence to jump. Eastern Gale, Gale rounding on towards the outside is Luke Warm. Next then Galen. As they land over the last is Hescondido, who's staggering up the run in. Luke Warm is running on strongly on oh, second place. Hescondido is tying up very badly. And here comes Luke Warm on the near side off a featherweight. And Luke Warm runs him out of it, lukewarm from Escondido, just touched off in second, Eastern Gale third, then Lance Armstrong, Galen and Manhattan Castle a long way back to Mr One and a few stragglers pulling up before the last uh, Rose Star and Magic Dancer, they both pulled up desperate for Hescondido here who made so much of the running but this is the winner lukewarm in the hands of Timmy Murphy, trained by David Gandolfo and running in the colours of Nigel Stafford and ultimately the weight difference between the front two horses was all important here. A stone and a half between them, and in this ground, that was crucial. Lord Warm staying on too strongly after the last, last as Hescondido came to the end of his tether. Back in third, Eastern Gale, and Lance Armstrong was fourth. So the £40,000 is carried over to Cheltenham next week. Luke Warm wins at 12-1 to 1 on the £21. Hescondido could not concede in the end, also returned at 12-1. to 1. Eastern Gale was third at 15 to 2 as we showed you in running magic dancer eventually sent off the 7 to 2 favorite 3